Hey there, I want to talk briefly about the age of the earth, Bible, science, creation. Of course, if you go out in the classrooms or you go into uh, the media, you'll find that the universe is heralded as you know, being so many billions of years old. Humanity's been around for 100,000 to 250,000 years and that sort of thing. And what you and I and everybody need to realize is that um, although these, these uh, pieces of information are heralded as fact, they're based on assumptions at the root. It's empirical science on quicksand. And um, the philosophies that are undergirding the empirical data are philosophies such as naturalism, where um, natural causes are all that exist. Um, in order to make that uh, claim, you need to know everything. So that's a, a dogma, really, held by faith. And other things like uniformitarianism. You can read about these things in the references that I'll give below and I'll mention at the end of the video. But um, it's, it's philosophy and science mixed. It's poisoned data. And their conclusions are irresponsibly heralded as fact. So we need to be very careful about that. And um, unfortunately, Christians have joined hand in hand with these these folks, and um, and unfortunately are trying to take scientists' data and philosophy and shove it into the between the verses in the Bible. And it's really unfortunate. The Bible, uh, Hugh Ross, others like him, just totally twist and contort the Bible out of just into a pretzel. It's really, they've really done a disservice to God and His Word, and it's really unfortunate. Where the Bible and our senses totally contradict, this needs to come first. This needs to come first, and God will be glorified. Otherwise, you'd be little God. Um, what we need to keep in mind is that creation was a supernatural event. It wasn't purely natural. All right, you need to be careful about that. And not only that, God very easily could have created with some appearances of naturalism. And you can look at part two and part three of my Pleading with the Atheist series. That goes into more depth than that. But in a nutshell, um, just like God turned the lustful people or the people bent on the lust of the flesh over to their lusts and degrading passions in Romans chapter 1, God can turn the naturalist mind over to his boast, the boastful pride of life. Or, in other words, the one looking at the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and saying, wow, it's good to make one wise. God turn, turning them over to that by creating in a certain way. So we need to beware of appearances. We need to beware of this and this. God says walk by faith, not by sight. And that, again, means wherever this totally contradicts these. We need to go with this first. Beware of appearances. The just shall live by faith. Now, what does the Bible say about ages? Well, as far as humanity, you can take Adam and Eve, or the beginning of the genealogies that lead to the birth of Christ, and add up all the years in between. And there's probably some gaps in there, so they usually give about a six to 10,000 year um, uh, as far as age of humanity being on the earth. And that, of course, would have been preceded only by five days earlier by the beginning of creation because as far as the age of the universe and the earth are concerned, well, Genesis 1 says it took six days. And many people try to call those ages and that sort of thing. It simply does not work at all. Um, in fact, God went out of his way. On the first day, there was light and there was dark. It says he called the light day, the dark night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And so goes for day two and day three, day four. I went out of his way for that. And the best commentary on Genesis 1 is not Hugh Ross or any of these other folks that are professing Christians that have caved to naturalist assumptions. Those aren't the best commentators. The best commentator is uh, in Exodus chapter number 20 where it plainly says, In six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth. So that's really all I need to say from the Bible on that. It's pretty clear. Now, if you want to look into evidences for a young universe in that, you can find those at answersingenesis.org or creation.com. Again, I got the links below. But anyway, you walk by faith and not talking. by sight. This comes first. Stop that talking! The Bible and our senses totally. Stop that talking! God bless. 
this has been an obnoxious cat production. <laughs>